Actually. Once again, Black Q TV brings you to another corner in Kingston, Jamaica. Today we are going live from Rima with the real legendary top man crucial who has legendary status in Jamaica, London, US and furthermore the world. Let's get to it. Greetings, manners and respect. You too, blessed love, respect family. I don't know the best. About, you have been talked about since I was a little boy. A real hustler, well respected in London, Northwest, Acton, North, South, East and West. What is your, what is your name? Royal Williams, A.K. Leroy Leslie. Royal Williams. When was you born? August 26, 1966, Kingston Jubilee Hospital. So how old did that make you? 55. Thanks. Did you live with your parents? Yeah, we grew up together under one roof in Rima. We have a sister them together. You know, we have a, a ups and down. Everybody had ups and about. We went to good schooling and everything. Mother tried hard with all of us, nine or five sisters and two brothers. Uh, sent to good school and everything. Sister they went to camp on Woolmers and everything, but you know the ups and downs with life, we choose a different part sometimes, get into the wrong crowd. So after a while, we lost concentration about education. So we start thinking with a different culture, different vibes, street vibes and all the different things. Then we get involved with all different kind of things, hang around this type of groups, different type of individuals, till from one thing lead to another, till we get caught up. You know, life is sometimes you start hang around and go shop for different, different type of people. And if you have a very, like, certain type of man, you will admire them style. And certain other man, you will say, well, I'm not too, you know, but we'll never get caught up under the same banner. Politics and whole of different confusing, finger fearing, who are rob, who are thief. Some youth keep a straight pass. Because we're going to the Marcus Gave influence, you know, and trench stone, Bob Marley thing, a lot of cultural influence. So after a while, the political difference start to confuse the place mash up enough things, different districts, segregate, trench town from jungle, and a town from Tivoli, so there's a lot of confusion. You know what? After a while, we start the one thing. People start to experience different type of life, get involved with the law, back and forth, different culture, different things. Till they migrate to Bahamas first, they'll you know, come back to Jamaica, went to England again after that. Later, Difficulties in England, get caught up in the law, went in and out a few times, and I'm being honest. And, well. So, what was it like growing up back then? Okay. Oh, well, hard, and it's easy, depends which route you want to take it. For education, was there if you want to, to get to it, and if you want to follow the wrong company and get involved. Because a lot of teachers and doctors still grow up here and thing. And they're the lawyers and doctors graduate from there the same way. You know, sometimes company, you know, company lead a lot of things and lead astray. So, why well, just put in the wrong directions until we're mature enough now to, I think, say, boy, you know, after you have a couple of kids and whole of things and you look back in life and see where you've been through. So, I say, boy, it's a miracle why we're still here. So, I say, well, God bless, you know. Been so many different things. Been so so many different things. Yeah, man, that's the most miracle is. I was still here now, can lecture and gospel a lot of people and show them what is how the things go. Yeah. What made you the man you became today? Well, I must put it down to circumstances sometime and you know, really a suffocation but hardship. And sometimes you choose to wear more than where your parents can afford. So sometimes it puts you upon a different path. So, and all the time you have to take heed and follow the right path. More time you have to divert and involve with petty criminals and different type of youths and things. But we still keep our cool head still, see me, all along the way. Yeah, man, for we've been in and out, but. Yeah. What age did you start crying? <laughs> well, I would have. On the road from about 11, we start criminal activity from about 14. Real in and out, like with the real people, them hang around with the real hard man, them, the real man, them, uh, you know, we look up to where we think them time there, them man there, we idol are, you know, we look up to the man, them as some real hero and thing. 
Then time there, you still have a few good men out of the good people. Well, you know, learn with a lot of example and things. Put up on the right part too. Yeah. So back in them times, was it just a way of life for you? Or? Yeah, man, and a way of style too. Because sometimes them times when you grow up, if you're not chuck it as rude boy and thing. Now, girl, remember them girl, I would have had the head of the thing, you know. So one time, woman put up on a different thing too. And, you know, people say red eye or you want to follow company and thing, and your parents, them did try. Yeah, man, but, you know, hard work sometimes too. When you make up a decision for your own and choose your own part and say a road boy thing or you think that is road boy thing. Yeah? So how old is you when you first fired your, your first gun and what was it like? I was about 15, 14, 15, so, but, you know, that was a fella suit. I think I follow a follow a friend one of them time, yeah. One youth you so hide a gun for a certain man. And we follow him go and it go off. That's the first time we find a gun come creation with gun. Go off. That's the first time. After that now, it's a different way of life. We choose to get involved with the law and whole for different decrepancy. A whole different thing that. Long story and whole different thing behind it. Yeah man. Hard work too, but we still there still. So did you uh. know Claudy Massop? Yeah man, Massop are the Ella. The man they were real Ella man. The man they grow away and we look up to them man as natural hero. Bucky Marshall, Jim Brown, Bayer, Waterhouse, Bunny, Dignitz, Mitchites, Nardo, a whole bunch of hero and thing. Kung Fu. Yeah man, we teach with the ropes and thing. Great man like Al Spar. You know Jim Brown? Yeah, man, Jim Brown, I'm an elder and family and real top man to one thing. Yeah, man, I'm a real ma family, the mafia, I'm a family, head of the thing, all the time. Prime, Prime Minister Siaga? Yeah, I know them and things like that, political difference, but to, as youth coming up, we try to keep our distance from them and leave that to the top man, them. The politician, them, we mix up with politics. Can everybody involved in politics, although in a criminal activity, politics different from. What well, we learn to become now as mafia and gangsters. What about Bob Marley? Did you ever meet Bob Marley? Was he yeah, man, all the time, man. Bob Marley, I'm a hell and legend and thing too. I talk, man, the gang and all of things too. Different story. People know the truth about Bob and them not talk. Why he was shot, who shot him, and all of different things. Why the reason? Because them and they, they've been a lot of good too. A lot of things too. And they're the head of the things too. You know, all the formation. As we well, see, because I'm a gang, so the man they have a lot of influence and make a lot of difference too. People love Bob, man. Bob is a great man too. Man, they look out for the whole time for a whole road to go up there. Enough time. So we was touching on Bob Marley and Willie Haggarts and the Jim Browns. Could you give us a little history about how you know them? And yeah, it? well, I was born in Rima, Trenchstown. That was the head of all things. Marcus Garvey, Bob Marley, Bonnie Grant. A lot of great people come from Trenchtown. You know. Carly Smith, the great cricketer. Bonnie Grant, the great boxer. Leroy Sibyl, the great singer. Delroy Wilson. A lot of, lot of, lot of great people come from Trenchtown, Rima. And that's where Bob from. And as youth, we hang out with Bob and Bonnie Wheelers and a lot of other Tootsie Bird, a lot of other things. And, Bunny and Scully and all them and there. But when I said Bob was, you know, Bob's a lot of different things, you know. When I said Bob is a rebel. So a rebel come on a different farm and thing. And Bob is an educated rebel too. Bob has a lot of knowledge. Bob, and, you know, Bob well loved and respected. Bob is a different issue, but too, we can touch them issue there. Because we have authority, we can. Yeah, man, Bob the elder too. And one of the man them, we start and foundation, man. Great man to look after with too, feed with. Yeah, man, Bob big way up all the time. Yeah, man, Robert Nesta. Bob a good man, man. As you we go around Bob. Great tata to the body teach Bob to play guitar. Pick string and them thing there, first street. Yeah, man, no woman no crying all them thing there with Georgia. We not dead, man. The whole away there and live the man. Yeah, man. So were they all friends back then? Everyone was friends, right? Yeah, man. Till different political issues and People go firing and make their things and other people think so well they can't do the same. You know, people have a lot. We call it Red Eye Jamaica. But it's just influence and sometimes people don't think they can achieve because they don't know better in life. So, them think immorally like them, you know, so well, it's there for every one of us. Life is just a matter of time. 
You know? Yeah, man. So, when you don't know better, you never do better then. But when you mature and experience and read and write properly and different cultures and different countries, you have an understanding of what's going on. So, how did you get to England? When was the first time you went to England? Well, that's a great thing, too, because one of the time, Bob Marley, they put on some trip, but the time they like, me couldn't go up on that thing, me couldn't go up on the move. Because they are mostly entertained and move them time there. But afterward, now, them say something to line up, and two, we get so involved with the police and get so hot at the time in Jamaica. So they have to shift you out a little leeway, we'd have to get out. So, you yeah, know, from one thing to another, ports and. Authority, you know the thing, the same people with them out say no, when the red is them stamp and say yes. So no care who he is, when the right time to get out, as long as you have the right cash. And the same authority, they might get you where you want to go. Yeah, man. So where was the first place in England, London, that you went to? Oh, right. Sandringham Road. I think I spent a night in Tottenham, but Tottenham was Sandringham Road, Dalston, Hackney. Yeah, man, Dalston, I'm a home, and thing. Did you used to be on the front line in Labrador Grove? Yeah, man, not nil. I know nothing nil good, man. I've been going there from before enough, man, and thing. Sandra Road at the first house and the first yard. That's carnival time. A few times we've been there and a few little riots, a few little ups and downs. It's all right still. Because you get black people together, a lot of organizers. Yeah, white people too. I must say we have good white family. People look out for us, you know. So I like this a black thing. It's a cultural thing where people who are sync upright together. Yeah, man, a lot of good people that will look after me. Real good people. Bless the love of Robber, Sid Draper, and love your Dingus McGuinness all the way. Yeah, man. They are the type of people look after we. Yeah, man. Ben back was over for we as well. So, them are my friend. Yeah, man. Without them people there, sorry. So, what was it like for you? What was it, what was it like, the transition? Well, choose a different culture and we never know better. When we see them type of lifestyle there, eh, we are thinking, yeah, we never can. We are saying, why are the things different? When we come to our England and we say, all oh, the things are look a different way of life. Easy if you achieve smarter movements, wiser thinking. You know, a lot of people there with a lot of different culture, but why it's important to learn from everybody. Because what we are life alone can't work. So we're fully mature and well experienced. Know a lot of different things, speak a lot of different languages, cultures, got enough place, Northern Ireland, know a lot of things, man. You understand? So England is a God blessed place, so you know, every tone of wickedness, but England is a college by its own. England is a blessed place, man. England is a top of top thing. And things. So, yeah, yeah, man. Enough ropes and enough real life to teach, enough away. Get enough man out of poverty, come back, come set up enough things. Big up themselves, too. Yeah, man. Who no wise up? You know, you know the thing, man. And people learn again, and then wise up again, and people learn again. And But England is a place where everybody put their man up to you, and say, Bless England, man. England taught me everything I know. How to speak properly and how to talk to people. Yeah, man. And things. So, yeah. So, back then, was there a big Jamaican presence when you went there? Yeah, man. A big Jamaican presence uh, in Hackney, where me was, and Dalton and Tottenham. Because we grew up at Tottenham too as well. Tottenham is that place where that's my home too, you know. Broadwater Farm. I live on the farm and I know Tottenham very well. Yeah, man, and thing. Cultures and look out for each other too in Tottenham. Yeah, man, Tottenham have a family thing too, you know, orientation. Yeah, man, and then we started getting involved in a lot of different movements and things, caught up too. Right? You know, we don't see a cool for long and things. Like, we don't know how it work like that, but I like, gave a few now and then, you know. We lost a rock we have heard and thing a few times, sometimes. I don't, one time I used to think it was the sun out here, but when you had the cool, I same thing. Hot, dead, same way and thing. Yeah. yeah, man. So, when you went to England? Did you try to get a job? Was it easy for you to get a job or did you go into straight criminality? Well, honest to God, uh, growing up, I also have a job as my number one enemy. I do a job, job and think. I can't mean, the job. So I, mean, I tell you my life, I have a job as number one enemy. So I, mean, I have to think about job. I have to think about knowledge and how to get by and <laughs> our way of life where we grew up in. So, from one front line to another thing, to other things, still, you know, involved and caught up in a lot of things. You know, you have to juggle. From front line, you have to juggle and run things, you know. So, so foreign is. Foreign is going to better yourself. So, in the movement, you see, we are trying to be the head right. Because that's what we know. So, once we go in, we are saying, what is it? And we are looking for who. I try to achieve and who are the top man. And we are telling how, how our thing go. 
in a bad man world or in a, our society, we are looked towards who have something where we can try to hang on to a latch and to and learn to fish. So, you know. So how did you make a living? Let me start juggle. After me, I said, I start dime bags and pop, start Charlie from Charlie Bronx and Maxi, a lot of clubs, show beans, a lot of play from People's Club. I remember from People's way back, you know. So we know they were hustling and we, we a few legends that have a teacher the ropes as well. So we started doing little bags and look up. We started selling little reefer first before and so we started latch on to some, you know, the Charlie the power that thing. So we start latch on to other things and juggling one juggle to another. I mean, we have to sell crack and juggle, cut stone, like anybody else do, you know. And do what we have to do and make a living, swallow, shit out. That's what things we have to do. Incarcerated, in and out. So, you know, the things still a part of life, but we did do the thing. Nobody I mean, say that we don't swallow and run from police, chase down and everything. Yeah, man, a lot of things. Are you still in contact with Jawian youth and people in foreign, people in England, I should say? Yeah, man. I must say, well loved and thing, and everybody can love you, but Jawian are right and thing. Danny Troy, the Whopper man, great youth like Henry Campton and all them, man. Eh? Where we look up to from where we come up. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Uh, you know, the thing goes still. And good people, Sid Draper, two men done Gartry together. He was the first man who met the helicopter coming Gartry prison, we was doing life together and thing. Yeah, man. So, Terry Smith, you know, from East Ham. I know you don't like blacks, but you are my friend. You're my China, I'm a brethren, you know, Terry Smith. Real good people look after me, so. Yeah. A lot of things along the road. Yeah, man. Being chased by white people in Canning Town, and we still have to do the things same way. Yeah, man. But, you can't say uh, England is a bad journey. England is one of my top colleges in the world. England taught me everything I know. So, England in general, my college that. So for you me. Touched, you touched on racism a minute ago. Have you ever suffered racism while you was in England? Encountered it? Yeah, man. What well, about time? It, I'm being honest. I'm, I've seen it all the time. It come next to me. Close to me. It's never really happened to me. All of my friends who said I like black people, I said I hug me up back and front. Me and I'm all right. That's why I just call the name. Terry Smith. He's my best friend, Sid Draper. And them said, I don't like no black people. And them said, we said, said Draper, he's my best friend in the world. And Daddy Harry Roberts, too. He's the king of kings. So, them man, they look after me. I bend backwards over for any of them. He right arm me give for them, man. Them man, they look out for me. White people look out for me. Say Draper, they do that. Yes, I'll be still being incarcerated now. Then he's camp like good people, too. Her mom. They do all the things to get me out. Yeah, man. Help you along the way. So you said you didn't encounter racism, but it was very close to you. How, how did you see it? How did you deal with it? How did it affect you coming from... Well, sometimes it depends where you live, which manner you went to. And you know the score, same like when you go somewhere and it's a stranger. That's the excuse. Well, you know, people as hooligans just say, hey, who you away from? And trying to bring it off in a different way. But we are just travel strap anyway, so it not really to affect us. Because when you look at funny move which show got them say they don't want to know you know what firearm is so uh, we always travel strap so me no encounter me hardly encounter problem i'm telling you with me so it always i keep a little distance from my thing you know apart from one time a girl and her brother-in-law had a little thing and them called me i've never really encountered that to my face personally not even in prison yeah man so I heard you was wrongly convicted and incarcerated. Would you like to tell us about that? Yeah, man. That's a little misunderstanding. They erred in law and thing, and some shooting happened in a, some community in Stoke Newtown. And, you know, Scott and everybody have them who are we are doing their things. And, you know, black people have a different way of doing their things. So, yes, I was found guilty and got life, 94. Yeah, and they gave me 60 years. And, you know, I helped for God. And we went to appeal court. Right? I tried to tell cartel, say appeal court important, if him got the right way about it. By Blanky, he can't work on them powerful thing, you know. So I go to the appeal court, Old Bailey. Well, well, we get convicted at the Old Bailey. Went strand in a London circle a few times. Went to the appeal court. About four times we go to the appeal court and then after the, third, the fourth time they squashed the conviction and gave me a retrial and on the retrial they found me not guilty and from there 
we are straight out some other legal matters that try to sort out it car. They did error in law, plus my last whole pub things too. Financial women I tried to get up legally. And they'll them all I know is I wake up on the plane and then I find myself in Montego Bay. I mean if I look at friend Patty Molly and them send him a South Africa. So me just wake up on the plane, handcuff and them I tell me don't let nobody know send me on the plane and thing and then me bring me here. I think it was a Monday night they brought me here, the Monday night. Yeah, my Monday. So how long was your wait? Away. How long was he in prison? How long did they? How long was he? And the life sentence there. Uh, ten years, nine and a half years. I uh, get uh, remand and within remand and nine and a half years. I'm mean, three years Belmar segregation and thing. Yeah, and then from that to I think Langla and Gachi. Yeah, Wilson Green. Wilson Green was the first stop in Birmingham. Then Gachi. Somewhere in Oxford, way out, man. And then Langlaughton was the last stop. From Langlaughton to the appeal court. And from there, so back again. Yeah, man. And by the help of God, we got us not guilty. Squashed the conviction, gave you a retrial, and we walk again, you know? Where the book at where you had? Where the thing about? So, so tell me now. You touched on Belmarsh segregation. Let people know what you mean by segregation in Belmarsh. But Belmarsh alone is a double A cap prison. Well, to be honest, to God, I swear to God, if you don't know what is real, swear to God. I don't want to be funny, but I don't think you will really understand what Belmarsh is about. If I tell you no problem, you're going to think it's, a, it's who speak English think is I'm funny. Who talk Jamaica think me a drum or a joking thing. Belmarsh have different blocks, different parts. He's an exceptional prisoner. Ep sorry, exceptional prisoner. Me was with Gary Nelson, Harry Roberts, Dingus McGuinness. We only keep, we on a separate part, location. Different part. You know, and thing. So when you say a separate part, let them know what you mean. Like it's a prison in a prison. That, is that what you're trying to say to me? No, we in a prison, in a prison, in a dungeon. Uh, we, are, we are monsters differently from on that side. We are different type of people here. Harry Roberts is a tree, king, a tree cop in Shepherd Bush. Tyson, good soldier as well. Ray Ray and that's Gary Nelson. Dingus McGuinness killed over 500 people, 600 soldiers. Northern Ireland, he came from Northern Ireland. Dingus McGuinness, my best friend there. He went back to Northern Ireland and turned the Secretary of State. He was turned the Secretary of State. He part with Jerry Adams, same thing. My name is like this, so we've done segregation together. We eat feces together. When he told me that the first time, so we have eat feces. I said, what do you mean? Because I said, the police are going to beat me. Because we keep, we keep, the police are going to kill me. Sometimes I wonder what's so stink. I'm going to realize the stink. But him plaster, we feces in the bucket, filth in the bucket. So we keep it for seven, eight days, fill it up, and then we throw it by ourselves. The shit, so we keep up the prison water, the screws. Because they come in and murder with the chunks and proper killing. Because we don't have the place, nobody can hear our CV. Because we're down at the hole, in at the hole, in at the hole. So we have to go to three years of segregation and eat feces. Me and Dingus, Maginis from Northern Ireland, them say my IRA. That's where we was. So that's what I tell about by what type of prison. You know, and then along the way, after have strip search, we didn't even take visit. Because we have a strip search here where I saw dig up the bottom, push up in the nose. So I can't take visit. I refuse them behind the glass. Me they behind the glass, you know. Strip search. And they strip away. Looking with here, dig out the nose. Open my mouth and skin up, all kind of different things. So I'm so fed up sometimes, you're going insane, but we have to hold the thing, because you know this thing there. So I try to put me off, for straight jacket away, so we are not about the firm, because you know we have drugs, we have things to keep it going. So we have to work on that. Get visit, pay a bunch of money to get things through Red Band, come round, the one who make the tea, so the school hardly, we call them hardly. So then I try to get little contraband to us so we can survive the storm. Yeah man, that's a terrible part. The Belmarsh. Yeah man. 72 prison when Belmarsh said the is Belmarsh different still. Completely different thing. Yeah man. Just talking about Belmarsh, I get a murder. Belmarsh mad thing. Yeah man. Yeah. So while you was incarcerated and doing your time, doing your nine and a half, nearly ten years, did, um, did your friends that you was running around on the road, did anybody remember you? Did anybody 
look out for you, did anything? Yeah, of course. Denny's camera was ahead of the thing. She great people too. Her mom as well, say a few white people. Sid Draper, top man. He's the one who made the helicopter come in Gartry and made the escape. That's the first time it ever happened. Helicopter came over Gartry and threw the guns down. But my buckle went. I lost. Well, I'm kind of did. never ready for that yet. Because that was too big for me at the time. Them time there, as much as we are going like, we're a tough man. You understand? Yeah, so I go with the helicopter and escape. Spend a few weeks with him. Because white people, everybody different now. Spend a few weeks with him, wife, and call the police have to come and get him. Because he was locked up for 30 years. So, you understand, everybody, seven brothers, seven different men. Everybody have a different way of life and thing. You know, we Jamaican, we not call nobody if you come, you no know, wife, and different thing. But everybody is different. But he's, a, you know, him, I love him to death. My, my good friend. When I have no one to look up to the man, they give me advice, show me how to go to appeal court, make me get visit, make me get money all the time, everything. Yeah, man. And the man is saying, hate black people, and the man they love me. Like, I don't know that, but the man they love me all the time. So, yeah. I don't know what to say, because the man they look out for me and love me. So that's it. The bell marsh a terrible thing. Yeah, man. So it must take a lot of mental strength to go through that. Yeah, that's bell marsh. Function, yeah, so. man. That's why I say, big up Dingus McGuinness. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, man. He went and turned the Secretary of State in Northern Ireland from incarcerated dungeon within dungeon to Secretary of State. Yeah, man. Great people, that. Because enough man go through what you've been through, turn to drugs, kill themselves. Am I right? Of course. Yeah, man. You're on the right track, too. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, man. man. We look at my drugs rough time, too, all the time, man. man we do drop drugs. We only buy a bunch of drugs. We do a bunch of them. I think nobody do drugs like me. I do not that smoke like me. Nobody in this world. I yeah, put the whole world together when I smoke now one day. You drug me, do drugs all the time. Everybody say that now. I lie. Yeah, man. Yeah. Certain people in England are in the catty estate and scary places. These guys are never getting out. So they have nothing, no care in the world, nothing to live for. They don't have no care in the world. And do crazy things like cooking ghee to melt off your face. These are something you must have witnessed. Let us know some of the things you've witnessed while you're in the catty estate. The cattle estate? Okay, okay. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, man. It's terrible. Long Land is terrible too. Like Long Land is a college in a college. A lot of murder, man. It's a whole different type of things in Long Land. A whole different stabbing. Well, um, um, Wilson Green, bad place too, you know. Yeah, Wilson Green, the worst in the world. I'm telling you. Wilson Green, you had to have the chiv. I don't know if you know what the chiv is. And you have to wrap it up. So you have to push it up in your ass. That's how you can stay alive. That's the knife. You have to put it in the soap, the plastic bag. To us, we now know them culture there. Cause we are saying, that's a bad boy thing. We don't do that. But the man say, either dead or you live. If you, well, you don't have to do that. Cause that's how we used to keep the drug as well, to swallow, mess it out in the bag, feel it out. We have to learn the ropes because we don't know. We have to know how to survive. Some people don't do that Jamaican because they have different culture. Well, to survive is my culture, to live, to fight another day. So anything to keep me alive, I have to keep alive. So that's how me learn to do the thing, push up things on my ass I said, we don't do that, man. I said, well, you're going to see stab you in the shower and kill you. Whereas, you know, all of them is with blacks, but we here, we have your back, but make sure you have your own weapon. So I said, oh, I will keep it, because the screws are spin the cell and strip cert. Man I said, yeah, you have to push it up on your ass, put soap over it and kangle, and make it work. You understand? So a lot of things, you know. Terrible things, I don't want to really tell them. I told them things that have uh, been like, that have been a joke thing. We've been through things too. Yeah, man. Terrible thing. Yeah, man. So what was it like being in jail, knowing that you was wrongly incarcerated? Jail or prison? If I jail different from a prison. Jail, prison. What was it yeah. like being in there, knowing that you're wrongly incarcerated and being treated like a fucking animal? Uh, well, at first, you know, yeah. When you go there, you have to make sure the first rules in life, the first rules, is to get sure that who send you there. That's my plain thinking. But after a while, you know, it's a prison it's an institution and there's a lot of things in prison. So, you know, prison is there to, to reform you. So while you're there, you know, we'll have different people talk to you about different issues, different vibes. They'll see people survive as well. And you have to wait if them can survive. Doctors and lawyers are prison to different type of people. So you have to wait and... You know, young people start reading, learn to read books, they go to the library. Prisons have a different world, but different ways and things out to get you out and things. You have classes, you have courses, course you can do that. So, 
Sometimes it, we are going more chill and a lot of things. You get soft with the bomb. You are the Muslim, you are the Christian, you are the evangelist, you are the Sunni. One time I had about 30 friends, I said, man, I don't even know what it is. And I time, I said, yeah, just twist. So you used your time in the English prison to educate yourself, did you? Yeah, man, I do a lot of libraries and a lot of things. City and, you know, people look at City and Gilliam, I take one course and come, um, electronics wiring, I look at one time and thing. That's when it was in the Isle of Wight. We have a next place, cross this thing, you know. Isle of Man, Isle of Wight, three prisons across there. Albany, Parkhurst and Campbell. You heard about it? Oh, that's the next different world by itself. All the schools pack up in the back on the boat as if it's sinking, you gone and everybody on it. The Isle of Wight. Yeah, man. Dangerous prison in the world. Parkhurst and Albany. No prison in America, Sing Sing or no prison can test Parkhurst and Albany. No prison in the world. Parkhurst and Albany and, and Campbell, three separate prison on the island. Yeah, man. For monsters, them keep all different type of people over there, so. Terrible place over there, so, man. Yeah, man. You used to live there all the time. I was at YC, Campbell, like Boston. And when you turn man out, bad boy thing, you're going over. Albany and Parkhurst. Yeah, man. Real thing that. Visit with the view and all different type of things. You know, visit, man. People come all the way far. Whereas if you have Jamaica people who don't know the routine, how to visit you far or, you know, depends how it is. Complicated for them as well, unless you have intermixed a couple of people who, you know what I mean, from England who look after you. That's how we get by. Yeah, man, not an easy road still. Yeah, you know, you Jamaica, after you was, <laughs> you, you bust the case and a call, did you get released or did they deport you straight away? Uh, yeah, man, I said a whole different time incarcerated now. A whole bunch of different time. But after the last life sentence, that's why I tell you, I wake up at Jamaica. On the plane, I wake up. So I wonder how I get to the sun, and they'll miss me in a month to go here. So, and, and they'll be coming here the Monday. And then we went back the Wednesday. And we come here Monday, and we spend a couple of nights, Monday night, out of the to walk and then we go to Portmore. And I said, Blood Cloud, I like how this is a Jamaica fee. Oh, five minutes, I think. I'm like, Bop. And take a few went to my fast. We had a scat and I had them here, I had a bus too short, I didn't know them. I said, oh, my dad bought so fast. I want a Monday to Wednesday, yeah. Yeah, my father get bright, but I want to take them, I didn't know them about it, you know? Yeah. So after yeah. Wednesday, when you beat too short and you make them no see you back, mm. how long did you stay in England for? I said, I didn't know them and they bought till. I look a girl I run round and some look people start some of the boat and the whole excitement. I don't know what went wrong, but all me know. They must say scat and the people are following and they must follow everywhere. I said, I know all of that man and thing. I think it was in a McDonald's sit down. And then I say, I will pack here outside and move fish and to my knowledge me know say something wrong. So I say wait and you know. So I come out of the McDonald's and I make a look of bluff walk for try to go down the road for safe I really interpol or scat up to them surround the thing. And cut off a little one alleyway. And I said, run. So I'm really looking at the whole of movement, chasing and camera. I said, right, tell you what this. And thing. So I took off the pizza and mass it up and start go about my business and do a little thing. Then I go around the corner and I hear my bull of armed police and up a thing. I say, if I lay up on the floor and them things. So, yeah, I locked me up and they took me back to a house and then find a whole of guns up and out. That was in Shardish, Agistan. I saw this Agistan, yeah man, it's Agistan. Can me link up on a virgin and thing and you know I have been inside because prison is a whole for different thing you know. So you go inside the prison for better and you turn worse sometimes, depends. How it is. Can you link up with a whole for different people in prison? All different walks of life, all different type of people. So prison, you know, have to be careful when you go to prison for reform. You can inform, but you can't do a whole lot of things, man. Turn in a whole lot of different things. If you, you know, be careful, yeah, man. Do you believe in God? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know about God and things. I believe in God. I know God is there powerfully and make God fearing. Yeah, I believe in him, a joking thing. A real thing, you know. You've got life for people all the time and go off of that. You know, so I've got a real thing, man. And God have me. God have me. I said, yeah, God's a wee within, you know. God's have on my side at all time. I don't know why. But we just said, we can't do no wrong for God. So I like we have searched God. God find me anywhere we is in the world. Enough time. Yeah, man. God find me. God fearing. Yeah, man. Do you think he spared you to maybe do something greater than what you were already done? 
I mean, I think what even made Donald Trump get a little trouble. I said, well, that's why I'm feeling if you go get to the old dog or what they got. I mean, just, I realize that more time in life, you know, everybody have to give and take. So we have to see that people in our higher half is worse off than we. They're my proper hyena dogs. I'm a proper drunk or still, but I just say, we just show you how type of people we can misguide with tie and suit and jacket, they're different type of dictators. Like Hitler, back in the day, dictator, not wearing a suit and gun. Dictator coming out all farms, test glasses, like Myron and Ian Bray, different time, and Nelson, all about different ways people come and thing. Yeah? So, so, what do you do now to survive? How will you survive? Well, I mean, I tell you, it's a surprise me. Because that's why I mean, I'm. Um, I just want to tell you this if you don't want to do the thing how they say it today. At the same word, what you just say, if me, what you say for fear, what you say about God thing? God fear and fear, you believe in God. So I, that's what I said, I just, I swear to, I'm not even swear, I just say me just, uh, just love by everybody. P.S. Shoe last time, I didn't tell them, I don't know. But some of boy go buy it, one slippers to me. They made them say, girl, send it up America. And the same slippers here. Then here, people say people send money, people send love. I don't have no phone, I just get phone. I don't have a phone. The phone lasts five phones straight empty. One of the last time I get this phone, I've been gone to that phone come on. In. I don't understand the world. It's a funny place. You know? Sometimes they say if you live by that, you die by it. And what you sow, you reap. So, honest speaking, it's not like say, me ever know in myself I ever do anything wrong. Me! I never know if I do anything where I say wrong. Where, God class, I mean, quotes probably have different opinions, but I just said to me, me know, say anywhere God is, I am there. Because God love me more than everybody. All who in the park up in a church, I know that. More than everybody. Because this is where I live, right here, so. And nobody can walk up and down this road here. I can walk a road, side, back, front, jungle, Rima, Tivoli, Machile, I walk everywhere. Nobody can go everywhere around here and down there where I come from. I walk everywhere. Every way people say, where you walk up? But me walk up at George Pong. I know George Pong, respect you. But the man, they don't come down here, out of body. I mean, walk up Zeke, them don't come here. Walk up Tivali, Tivali, don't come here. Walk up Rima, Rima, don't come here. I go Rima, I go Tivali, I go everywhere. God, that's how God said, I go, go lecture and go give them inspiration. And I go there, show them some people can go there too. So I'm not being funny, I just go there. God, that's how it is, and thing. I mean, when I have a few men in this area, as I said to you, sorry. Still have handkerchief for me. I don't keep rocking rag on him today. Handkerchief is very special. England teacher. I can make a hard rag to shop all them places. Cecil G, Davis and Wesson. So I'm in a different class. I mean, it's a Mozart and Bessanova. So I'm in a different form. My body have class in a different style, different outlook and way of life. You understand? Yeah, man. So I do them things a different. Everybody not even know any Mo Mozart or Bessanova. I people like the first time I ever hear that before. That's tenor, like Orchester, Mozart, Bessanova. Yeah, man. Brown. So we do the same thing there too. So that's how we learn from Can't Read to go listen to Brahm and Mozart to be toxic or best enough for Germany. We go to listen to all that. From Can't Read, born here, so, and we do all that too. So life's so funny. You understand? Full of surprise. So we have to give and take in life. Yeah, man. So what that's how we do. do you have for the, for the youth them of today that wants to take up badness, wants to be a gunman, wants to do all of that stuff? What message? What, what, what would you say to them? Obviously, you know they don't take talk, you know, so everybody... Yeah, man, depends what type of talk. Well, them, well, as I said, I say, talk is cheap, you know. And as well, I say, sometimes them so funny, you know, you will see a man that has $40 million, and him a big boat, man, a man have one little gun, and him crowd behind him, and him no crowd behind him, and the money, because... I say, everybody have a different insight of life, way of life, way of upbringing. So sometimes, destruction look right to you, you know, it depends how you look at it. And a lot of people for learn, so they're supposed to learn free. It's hard to give advice. They need them think cash more than advice, and them forget that silver and gold vanish away. Education can never decay. So, you know, advice is a word of very tricky fire and thing. Because sometimes they don't want to hear about God and you have to sell more advice. So, you know, sometimes you have to make them look and learn. So they might realize where they come. Look, all the time I tell them, say, we had tap a tap and be a bag at the same. I look to look for a camera and I tell them, say, movie. I'll not book and them still don't realize that. Them still that's laugh and thing. I know them say, one little camera, them take a big thing. And we have books where heart have right and them realize that. We is not the worst. So people day here with us and people there for me to remember, say, we still love ourselves and love is there. And we must still believe in ourselves. Our people out there believe in us. So this is a great work and a great production. And we love this. 
Yeah, man. So, them type of way and opportunity and them type of doors that want to open for you to have more youth in the ghetto. They can say, say options there, you know. And a superstar name alone, you have whatever of ways and talent can make you get under the camera too. So, but I think I just got them things and make camera come and, you know, they go on. I just, the history of me, you know, they go, you know, camera come with a gun, camera come with it. It's just we've been through, you know, the journey and whatever. So, you know, and we have to respect that for people still think about me, you know, care away in the world and the production company, everybody. So, it's a very important thing. I appreciate that. You now, respect and thing, yeah, man. So, so, so how many of your friends do you know that have lost their life? How many of your old school brethren and ladies? How many? Uh, you want God vexed with me? So you cannot even God know know that. You know, I tell you, you gotta go vexed. So God not even know that. Like if it's cemetery full, eh? if it's cemetery we're full. I don't mean what is cemetery? If we're full with friends, eh? if it's cemetery full. So I no friends. Why do you mean forty man I walk me alone? Why do you mean thirty man I walk me alone? I am born in the hate and I alone left. I am a good man, God plays me alone. Why did I tell that we go place and I am come left? I run to him and fast. I am there. 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 And them thing there, so you know, oh yeah. So love is always there still, yeah, man. So as I was said to you, respect important too. As I was said to you, understand. So no matter where you do, you still have to do it with love and respect. And right? no matter who you are, have understanding and think morally. Uh, people out there still care, no matter who you is. Someone is always there. That is a surprise too, and we still accept it with clothes and you know? yeah, man. And God bless the people, man. The production company for them to sing about me. You understand? One culture never there where we I think so we do things for all time. Now, never, not one at a time never come and tell them to read. We make constructive argument. Man bring voting argument to the sufferer people them. As the people that way crowd them miles away this. All the stone bridge, you know, way them thing is. Feeling a thing but we. Yeah man. Respect. So I mean so we still part of the thing. Yeah man. So saying all that. So I never give up no independent to England. Me never independent to England. I always honor them. So I don't care who I said I'm independent to England. I never independent to England. Okay, so I don't matter what I give up independent. I am not England but at all times. God has way look after me. Yeah, man. So saying all that, how, how what does that make you think about life? You've been through a lot. <laughs> yeah, Everything the life is for living, as I said to that's why we are here, but as I was say, and you say every day for a reason. As I said, nothing will last ever than good salvation. So no matter how pretty we are, how we think we are, how rich we are. I uh, will big we think we are. We are just human like anybody else, as I always said to you. Not about great leaders and millionaires, not here or for here for a reason. So the little life where we have left, we have to just try and make something constructive, something productive about it. And at least we say, yeah, Father God, thank you for the journey. And we can accept with open arms when ready. And when final work over, we'll fly away to Zion like anybody else. Yeah, man. But apart from that, I respect. Love is always there. England are the best. Yeah, man. Then it's camera big up. I was always like, I say things set up. Yeah, man. If there was one thing Gap if father change, crucial, respect. If there's one thing about your life you could change, what would it be? If it's one thing in my life, what I would change? If there's anything in your life you could change, what would it, what would it be? <laughs> probably must have my name. I my name probably would have changed. I don't know how that makes it. What do you mean? Eh? What's wrong with it? That's the only thing that changed the name. Probably. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. You created that. your own business, right? You have your own business. Since you've been back in Jamaica, how have you so how have you have you been back in Jamaica for how have you survived? Obviously you're talking like you've been there, done that, you seem like that's not the way to go because you wanna tell the youth and say, yo, you have to do what you have to do. You have to do what you have to do. You can't tell a man and say, yo. This is that one. How do you well, survive is well, a word, but real survive is, a, is different type of actions in real life. Because you can just see the world where how them survive. Bill Gates, everybody survive. Sometimes people have a front. People look like I saw them survive, but survive means survival. I know the strong can survive. So, you yeah. know? So, survive so spiritually and survive. Survive is a Houdini. 
If I, if I come and support a different farm, believe me. Yeah, man, so we don't know if I say it myself. So I hard work for me to tell you how we do that. And we know, so we're not doing nothing wrongful in a criminal activity. Yeah, you have to say we actually, I say hey, man, all the time. So, you know, in communication with friends, well, everybody all right, you know. Yeah, if we don't have a young girl, go back to your heart. If you don't want more anything, I go on them and they call, we are big, we up to. And you are a man too, Bobby Phantom. Enough man, I look out for you all about, say me. England, then he's the people, I look out for you all the time, and I don't know how them do it, how it happened, but. You know, and as I said, we can lecture and we do a lot of things, so we have enough of common sense. So, more than people come through for inspiration and guidance. And we can help people with nothing, because we don't know, we have, have nothing and we can help people. So, we bring look at thing, we have, bring drama, something again at least. We can say, yeah, yeah they get us. So, you know, sometimes God who knows, God he knows what is best. So, you know, that's a miracle. That's why the word miracle is about, because miracle. That'd be a miracle, must it sometimes? Have so. you ever worked for somebody else? I.e., <clears throat> as a, a job or had a boss that said, Yo, that you're on the boss, that I'm making boss, and you got to do certain things like that. Or have you always been your own man? Um, one time, I'm nearly I'm trying that prison. I'm not me to work at prison. I'm saying, Now work here, you have to kill me. Can me never work at road? So, oh, I'm going to work at prison. Me not work at no prison. I don't want to know that. I never so I go up on a course, two course in prison, two different matters. But I don't work like that. Family from them time there, from growing up, I never really think me need to have a job them time there. And think I remember the job for people like you know, like you need it or you have support people. You have to really to find a job to support. You know, family thing and that. So me, I think me did really need to have none and thing as I said to you. So. I never get up, never look at a job yet or think I have to get a job. So I never you know, think that it's necessary for me sometimes. You know, so I really go look at a job. Never ever will a 9 to 5 or not empty yet. I never work and go get a job yet, personally. Mm. So please reiterate to these young and up, up and coming that ain't. Nothing nice about being locked in a room with, with a toilet. No friends coming to see you for years. You can reiterate, like, try and get your point across to them, like, yo, this thing has, this is a serious thing in life. You, 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 you might be here on the road, you and your brethren you stand up, everybody's good, but yo, you see, when police come to you and it's you one, and you don't have none of your brethren them, it's you one, you have to, you have to you end up partying with money, they deal with, but it's you against them. I seem to go on all over everywhere in the world. I have sunny, I see me too. I look at my son, you know. See me too, and then I'm saying, I know everything. I wrote boy, but I see me know if I make a money, I know if I do, and I know everything. I see me have to check me, see me as hell, but I see him do everything, I know everything. I'm young, and then I see me look, you know, and things. So we tell him all the time, I'm saying, man, tell my blacky boy, so that you know. Him did it too, and things. So I'm saying, I know the things. So more time I saw it, normally, go. So sometimes I've made them get for them own training or for them own knowledge from somewhere, because they're going to see it different from you. I remember them respect cash over education, you know. So it's a funny thing sometimes. So you have to make them do for them part and make them see they're not an easy road to. And depends how them move, because you know the thing. If them with you and follow your footsteps, they know the militancy, so they get the training, so you don't have to tell them nothing. So if they have different ideas and different plans and different bars and different, let them follow everybody, idolize different people, you know. So, you know, hard work for lecture everybody we can't and we can teach everybody and who knows that they will pay for learn, who don't want to learn free. You know, the hard decision and things as I was said to you, but it's open up enough eyes and them say light, man. So they said, oh, see, they're like, oh, a real thing. Say, I'll camera card them, you know this hour. Not for them, I said, but they know what. They're going to say, a movie and make and tell it reach for all of you and say, who shall I show? Because they're supposed to have them, you know, so they don't know what is going on here. They don't have a clue, so they think a different thing, yeah, man. So. <laughs> Well, at least them know that something is about to go in and somewhere along the life and people from all over the world can come here so them know say different things. Yeah man, and enough love still. But love great and respect. So when them have love and respect and think morally, a whole of doors can open for them. Straight to South Africa, a whole of doors man, Timbuktu. So respect are the key. So if them now understand that, we don't know what I will go. Yeah man, nothing can meet respect. Yeah man. So you said that there have been books and other stuff written about you. Okay. Let's touch on that and let us know a little bit about that. Okay. Yeah, man, this had a book where they write about England, London, Ruthless, yeah. A few top man in it as well, too. 
Yeah. It's about legends and mostly real, real top for top man legends. We've been there and done that and thing. And man, we about few, uh, you know the whole book, I was about three we alive now, or two persons alive, we're in a deal this book. All the people in the book, man. Bob Marley, Claude Mass up, all the people in the books and things. You know, all my version, I hope of stories. This is where I get life 94 in the book. When I get, they say I get caught up and get life part of the story here. Where them say I get life 1994, I get life in England. And after that, I went to America and get life again too. And then we come up 2001, we come down from America. So I get life in England and we do life in America too. Because 60 years of life. Life is 15 years. So anything over that is life in any country. Ask anybody, yeah. So it come from Houston, Texas with some flatbed like trailer, they make the trailer them flatbed and a smuggle from Houston to Miami to Jacksonville, Orlando to Jacksonville. So you know our style, we think we are above the law. So we might have about pure weed, we are eating coke. We say no pure weed, we eat cocaine and guns. So he might say pure weed and we say no pure weed, we don't do that. So from one thing to another we get caught up and the next fresh thing that again in the America system. I will walk away from that, live to tell the story here. So, you know, so it's another part of the journey and things still. And day to day, the Jamaica Gleaner, this, I mentioned the same thing. They might talk about the same book in the Jamaica Gleaner four weeks ago, this five weeks ago. They yeah, do the same books here, as you can see. The thing about, yeah, so it's the same here. So, I like say, we have to do black and white again. and. I tell you, like all that, yeah, it, it, it's here now, so people can see that and think. And well, it's in black and white, you can see it and know that for themselves. So it's a part of the journey. So it's hard for to get a more better teacher, a scholar, where I show them what been through, show them what life is. We're still alive and in a book. All this journey we got to look at me and say, nobody can show them book where they're in. A, nobody can show them book. You have to be a legend of a legend if you have books that you in a facility and show them and say, in a book. So it's not an easy road. You know, it's a part of the temple and thing. Yeah, man. So, you know, blessed love and we are worthy to be praised. And God is God. That we God fearing at all times. So, you know what I'm saying? So I spoke to Joe Dog, one of the man them from one of the oh, Joe Dog. Mm. Mad man them from Flipping Jungle. He called himself a. What do you call himself again? Grandmaster. Would you say yourself, would you, would you call yourself a Grandmaster? <laughs> so what you've been through, still been here to tell your story you're in book, you're in paper. You can walk out anyway. Would you? You must can call yourself a grandmaster. So get Grammy man. For me, the first man I will get Grammy for this. But you know, grandmaster, I have a Grammy award for this guy. So you know, I'm right, man. So you get a grandmaster for more. But I tell you, me a Grammy award soon for this. A new black, a new way of life, a new doors we are open. So we know that will happen eventually, kind of happened before. So we always do things when never before. So like when they bring Grammy in music, Grammy in we bring Grammy in this soon too, man. So you will see, one thing. So I'm here that you're great, fine. So me at first when I get Grammy for them, I think. So you will see. Yeah, man. That's the far I live it. You know, God of the Almighty. Yeah, man. I never hear that before. People get Grammy for gun. That's how you know it. You will see. And Grammy for respect. Yeah, man. And Grammy for prison. Yeah, man, come and say, me a crime allergy, prison allergy, and life allergy. I remember nobody else helped me here with that, everything there. And the PhD in a crime allergy, life allergy, and prison allergy. Yeah, man, come and go 82 prison. God, I'll man, enough that, man. Fuck in hell. My yeah. You touched on a lot of prison, that, man. Yeah, man, bad boy, I think that. Kurt, you touched yeah. on your time in America. Please tell us a little bit more about your time in America and how you found it different from England. Let them know. Let, let people them know. Uh, different, just a different culture. England, me personally like England way more than America. America not too rock to me. I never understand for them vibe or for them drawl or them accent. But America is a funny place, you know. America full of racial. I never encounter it too. But America have more different ways and how the people relate to you than England too. England people them relate different and accept Jamaican more formality. America, same thing. I will start all over again juggling. Kind of, anywhere we go, we still have to observe first. And then we have to, you know, we just ban for tap and tap. So we can't go there, go 
sit anywhere, we, go, we can't go wait for no long thing to drive up Benz or do anything. So we have to move very fast. Whereas you know when the world are end with respect. So I have to go place, I move fast, fast, fast. You know? So I like to know what's going on first, which part them sell the thing, who are the trouble, what's going on. Then we head to the front line again. Start do a little thing and then and we caught up in our club first with a firearm, America, that are Orlando. Then we all have, I think I'm a desert eagle. They never will be with it. Then we raid the club and the people must say no shooting our beg with so we just mass it up in one place. And the police then find desert eagles. So that was the first time. After that then met we out and thing. So we go up to Jacksonville and we encounter with some little man up there and a uh, little thing go on and thing and four people dead up there and we have to run down uh, we the Miami and then we run go down our uh, next place. Not, we the Tampa, Miami and then we run go down uh, um, Rockaway, Queens, um, America, something like far, something like far Rockaway or something like that. We there, chill out a little bit. And then we go Orlando, Orlando back again, and then put me on the truck. We go Houston, we just smuggle the weed and this thing, and the DA them come in. A Ponte, my name is DA Ponte, because my tell me all the time. But I know who you is, you kill in England and don't come over here, come kill up. My name is DA Ponte, I'm the number one fit, Ray, Ray, Ray. I must look at him and I laugh. And to, yeah, man, but him all right, a good man still between me. I tell you, be honest, yeah, I'm reason official and him did look out and show me the ropes. I tell me, say, if you plea for an murder and don't fight the court. And you know, got America, a lot of them different. You know. America is the only place in the world you get life. If you're not, not all. You don't have to do nothing. You just get life. Conspiracy, mount moving, um, entrapment. America has a lot of foolishness, man. America is a mad country. Man. America is a fool, so. You understand? So, so how did you how did you get your prison time? How did you say you say you was sentenced to life? Didn't you? Yeah, my America. So I said we do some little thing about Jacksonville, Florida, and then we got smuggle. We did, we make a long trail of flat bed. We did dance them. We have the boss them. So me just a side man, a hit man and thing. So me I work with them and one of them is doing my family. I say, yeah, man, and go shot Ray, Ray, Ray. So I start ride shotgun with the use and trap from. From Orlando to Houston. So if you ride with truck one time, you get 100,000 US and any car you want. Um, three car, BMW, Benz, or one, one next Jeep thing, like a Discovery. Man, 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 man. It's a bad boy thing, man. But one of that. But anyway, if, every trip you get that if you go. So me ride two times with them shotgun and thing. And there one boy from the south. He go first time, he get a BMW, he buy one big Benz. And then go again and buy BMW and Benz and get away. But the third time, now them bus pan him and trap boy, I saw about him. Make a deal with them and bring back the truck come to we. And thing. So when I go down at the truck stop, now I'm coming here, secure the place and thing and go down there. Them jump up on the truck for me. I said, No, I'm wrong. I tell the boy, the boss, say, I go down there and I said, Don't care, no go. I say, He's a fool. Give me that pan the wall. He might tell me about me, I get a U diamond. I could fool up a thing like Bobby. He might tell me about don't carry that pan the wall. I said, That me, I carry it. So when I reach down there now, and the police have jumped out, yeah, me about a good thing in the have now gone. I say, yeah, it's a fool. If me have that, then I can't jump out and do them a fool. The police are going to do them foolishness. Uh, if me have it that way, they're on the wall. Them have. So I saw the boy them trap me half down there, and me do the cool life. I never know about, so them know about the murder for Jacksonville. Because I'm too far with it, a different state. That's a whole land far. So I did a cool life in a prison, and the, the lady come and tell me, say, what's my name and something. So I just you know, I give her a funny. I say, my name. I make up Patrick Amar, bro, I make up. And the first thing I make up America, I want it, man. He come up Guyana. Police want him like a vibe truth. Police them want him, but they say, Patrick Amar, bro, and I couldn't forget that. I swear to you in my life. He does not make up, you know. But you may move fast. I never let the driver last night, you know. Patrick Amar, bro, and wanted from Guyana. Not Ghana, Guyana, South America. The boy and him, so England have to say, no, man, I know him this. I'm fingerprint at them. Say, no, I'm just come off like him, cool child. I know him. Cause him are different than legal. As them hold him, they might pump him right away. Not, I doubt they didn't get trial. Patrick Amar, but bad boy, man, we kill up and thing. But I don't make up that name or whatever. I just make up thing. I just come for me. So then I take with the ID, the DA, them, and federal them. say, no, I know him this and take with it. So I give him a driver license back and I say, no, and Ray. So I let me lock up and thing. So them now, them come, now the lady come and look for me. And I say, you saw me look for you. I look, she said, I know you're a woman. So you don't know me. You know, me never listen to her. Then she said, I said, cool, shall I? I said, wait, where the fuck? I said, look, still. She said, you think I don't know who he is? I said, yeah, who he is? Yeah, you know, I am Interpol. 
That's what you think I've been doing for your laptop. I search the world, I find two years, fingerprint of them, cool, Ray, 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 and England, and Bronx, a whole bunch of crap shut off. I realized I'm here to me, yes, man, someone I know to write it. So, you know, and things you know. The yeah, answer to me said, don't come and do no foolish stuff. Yes, like England, America, different, you last half. And Ray, Ray, Ray. So then we come and find out, say, we, you know, the killing of Jacksonville. And England get slapping her wrist and shit in her shape. America got different thing. All right, no problem about it. Last, for me, proper last, man. Buck Rogers' time. Buck Rogers' time. What did I tell that before? So, touch back on, touch back on the, the, the lady with the interphone. Which one? The lady with the interphone. That, 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 that comes okay, from. okay, that's a police woman. Oh, she said to me, say, if me don't know, if I think she don't know who I am. So, I look at her, say, because she kind of look a bit funny, you know? But she said, cool, shall I call my name and start tell me, say, I was some quiet a little bit, but kind of take my time because she realized that serious thing this. That Interpol this now is a different thing. So she reason and talk to me and explain and we find out that I have to keep myself quiet a little bit because it's a dangerous move now. So they have to change truck, we explain and they'll lie and DA them come after a while, the real thing and tell me how the thing go. I mean, I don't make a deal for that one up there. So America, you would die, I tell me, say, like, you're in front of a stage maker when they first warned me. Them bags when me have a look bag, them travel them packs them. So where you get them? Say bye bye. Now one club down. So I look bag a week. I'm too much to get club bag a week. That so me never pay that no mind. So which club? I said one club. Them diamonds on the bottom. Them I look bag a week. So them want him from long time. For for them want him from New York. All boat, all boat. All for him a top man thing. Friends them old man give me a look here, take my ball and a brown up in my bag a baby and thing. So them it give me twenty eight for the thing. For the trans smuggling cross country thing. I do me a shotgun ride, them send me the pan it, them see me with the at go and forth. Then them find out about it, murder up at Jacksonville with my party and me, so Ray Ray a long story and take me to court and give me forty eight on top of that. Then yeah, so we had a play agreement, a deal and it is side of that. So they me want to hold my party, the man where them say are the real kid and they think I'm a conspiracy to murder. And Ray 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 so that the man, you know, and things so. Then I get to the bottom of that. So afterward we did the and thing and them send me a couple place stereo. A couple place go well, man, next year time prison. Then bring the twenty down to twelve that are with the smuggling. Sign a die the murder upon the sixty. And I don't know what's up, man. They did till me see foreign boy them saw come the Jamaica High Commission and I'm part of checking from about six years to five. If them saw check check and they'll when they did till they them say them come and tell me I go home, take me out of the country. So that's me done about five years, six years, and I eat that. Me see me come after it. 2001, me come down here after that. And from that, me never do nothing. Me just, till now, I take my time. Yeah, me never travel, me never make no more movements towards Europe or nothing still. You know, so me, from that time, you know, me just, that's the last bit of time, the day that day. Yeah, man, I'm in America. Yeah. Yeah, How much so, time did you end up spending in America? In jail or on yeah, three? In jail, in jail. How much time did when you got incarcerated? What about, I look at that, I look at seven years, we did get locked up the other day. Yeah. Seven years, about that seven years. So in your, in, your, in your life, how much time have you spent incarcerated? Backside. Yeah, that's backside. That's that, hey, that's backside. That's really, that's backside, that's a long time. What's the, what Only about time that man. I remember say all of England alone. I tell you, thirty right now. Tell that man, come on. I got twenty-two year prison. About twenty year prison in England. Out of that, yeah man. England enough time to England. Eleven, nine, five, four. They mad up on at different times that too. And things so that had up a whole bunch of things that England, although a college too along the way. Cause that's the real thing, man. You learn a lot there, so. Mm. Let the people them know the differences with English prison and American prison. A whole bunch of different, man. America prison is savagery and thing, to be real honest. America is savagery. England is different. England is human. You know? England is human. And England has a lot of yes or no. So England has a different thing. Morally from America. Outlook. Everything. England have different things from America. America is America, simple. America is uh, America. America is America. America is a bad thing, man. America is not teaching how we are alive. Try to get when they left America prison, they say, go bird again or kill again. America have a different way for them things different. They don't try to rehabilitate no way. America is hard for rehabilitate America though. Very hard. Give a try that. I'm telling you. 
Yeah, man, you know, that was about different uh, things and we and different things. Believe me, yeah, man.